Well, this is actually, I have no idea where I'm going right now. Oh, it looks so pretty. Hello mortals. So this is a portion where you have no choice but to hear my voice. So there'll be no ASMR in the review section, 
but please stay to figure out the specs and the pros and cons of these headphones. So this is for the tech pros out there. I stole this off the Razer website if you can't be bothered searching up the specs on the internet. Oh, and also a disclaimer, I am not sponsored in any way, shape or form by Razer. This is simply just an honest review about these headphones. Moving on, as you can see that there are two completely different designs. One of them is the USB version of the headphones, which is wide and has a completely different design as opposed to the Bluetooth one, which I have unboxed on the previous clips. And because of these different designs, there is different prices. So the wide ones are £149, and the Bluetooth ones are £99.99, pence, which is like the Bluetooth ones are quite cheaper compared to like some Apple AirPods, which is pretty cool. Even though the Razer Kraken and the Apple AirPods have some different between the design aspect and the tech aspect of this, they are both unique. For example, the Razer Kraken Cat Edition have light up ears and also you can just customize the lighting, whereas the AirPods, well, they are portable. <laughs> but we should actually just talk about the headphones themselves because this video is mainly about the headphones. One last thing before I move on to the pros and cons is that the wired versions of the Kitty Edition headphones require a software which is I think it's only available on Windows because there's like no Mac version of the app. I'm not sure about Linux but there's this thing called Razer Synapse which the Kitty Edition headphones, both of them literally, are able to use the app to change colour and change the sound and the microphone as well. Um, the Bluetooth edition also have the app for changing the colour but there isn't anything for the sound. But I mean the Bluetooth edition is pretty cool you know, you can just like take it out anywhere and flex on your cat ears around college, or school, or the train station, or whatever. <laughs> the previous slide says Kranken, but it's supposed to be spelt as Kraken, but I can't be bothered changing the thing, so we're basically stuck to that. So now we're onto the portion where I provide my honest opinion on why these headphones are to love, but also why they are kind of, well, the features are a bit annoying at the same time after a few months of wearing those headphones. But bear in mind I won't go through everything because most of this is subjective and sometimes I might like something that you might not like, but I'll just go through the stuff based on my opinion. Now we're onto the pros of these headphones. And one, they're absolutely cute. I mean, look at them. Like, look at them really closely. As you can see, they're more cuter than this little guy right here, but actually, He's cuter than- well, well, they're both cute. <laughs> Bluetooth connectivity is pretty easy on these headphones. All you need to do is just hook the headphones to your preferred device. If you want to turn those headphones off, it'll still be connected to your device, just once you turn them on, it will automatically pair. Unless you want to switch devices, then you gotta, like, disconnect the device and then put them onto a new device, etc. Out of every headphone in the world, I think this is the most unique feature, and that is the ability to change colours and light styles using an app. You can use Chroma RGB or you can use Razer Synapse to change the light settings. And the current light setting that I'm showing you is Spectrum, which is literally just the spectrum of the rainbow. We also got the audio meter, but I don't recommend you to go out in public um, with that setting because it has flashing lights and it might trigger some people, you know? And we also have like the um, fixed light setting where you can just like change the colour of your choice. There's other light settings as well, but I think you should explore it, you know? 
The battery life is pretty decent. It takes a few hours to fully charge the battery of the headphones and then it takes a few days for the battery to get drained. Like it was mentioned before, it takes 20 hours to drain the battery with the lights and 50 hours without the lights, so it's pretty cool. Another cool thing is that it disconnects when not in use. I was going to show you like an example on Razer Synapse on how to like um, customize how long you want to disconnect those headphones for when you're not listening to music or watching any videos but sadly my computer is slow and stupid so i do apologize for not showing you that but i hope you understand what i am talking about this one is pointless and obvious because it is actually good for listening to music and stuff i mean look at this dude he's just chilling like yeah he's chilling to avoid wasting your money, make sure the product that you're purchasing comes with a warranty before you buy a separate warranty. Like for the Razer Kraken headphones, they come with a two year warranty and to register it you need to check out the instruction manual and they have a link to the register thing. And that is a reason why you must read instructions kids. Now let's move on to the cons. And yes, the mic quality is absolute rubbish. Right now I sound like I'm on like a Zoom call or like on the Google Classroom doing online lesson and teaching kids stuff. So yeah, the mic quality is actually quite muffled on this, so if you're thinking of getting a headset or a headphone that has good mic quality, maybe the Bluetooth edition of the Razer Kraken isn't right for you. You can try the wide version of the Razer Kraken Kit Edition or the Razer Kraken in general or you can just find another headset with good mic quality so this moves me on to the instability for live streaming and if you have a twitch account then the audio will become muffled once you stream so if you have the setting of putting it onto your built-in microphone instead of the razor kraken's um, mic and also audio then I think you're good to go. It is also worse as having really bad mic quality, which is pretty sad. Yeah, we're not really gonna talk about this in much detail. Sorry, dudes. But anyways, um, it is not noise cancelling, but unless you increase the volume, then yeah, you wouldn't really be able to hear anything. <laughs> So I initially thought that I wasn't able to call or receive any calls at all, but that is false. I'm able to call people on with using the headphones, but I'm not able to receive them. And I don't think anyone will understand me because the microphone quality is absolute rubbish. But oh well. Another thing that I've got to mention is that it stinks of plastic. Not just for a couple of weeks, it partially stinks of plastic right now after like three or four months of wearing it. So if you have any advice on how to remove this absolutely horrendous plastic smell, please put it down in the comment section below, I really need your help. Because the Razer Kraken is a gaming headset, it is not flexible nor portable. So if you want to take it on the go, you might have to stuff it in a bag with the fear of breaking it or you can just carry them around awkwardly either way finally i just want to say that the charging cable is pretty difficult to take out well that is a pretty bad example but this clip shows what happens to me every time i want to take off the charger pretty difficult eh Overall, negatives aside, I really, really, really love these headphones. Like, the design is absolutely creative. It's different compared to other headphones that you see. And also, you can change the settings of the lights, which is actually pretty cool. And it's very stylish as well. So, for my rating, I give this a 9 out of 10. One, because there are some negatives, like the atrocious mic quality and the inability to receive calls but those headphones are really good for listening to music and going around in style just being your unique self 
Unfortunately, that is it for today. I hope you enjoyed this random unboxing slash review video. Although I've been waffling a lot, thank you so much for watching this till the end. If you have any tech recommendations or video recommendations, please comment them down below and I will try my best to work on these videos. But anyways, I will see you in a hundred years. Adios!